The weather affects all rail operators, including Northern Ireland Railways, part of the TransLink group. With passenger numbers growing by over 70% in the last decade, management is keen to avoid any disruption to services. Yet, autumn leaf fall can lead to problematic delays, even cancellations. Railheads become contaminated, increasing the risk of low adhesion, leading to station overruns, wheel slip, even circuit failures. Poor adhesion can also cause excess wear on wheels and tracks. TransLink struck on one solution. For the last few years now we've been getting a leaf fall risk prediction service from the Met Office um, to help us manage um, the leaf fall season, particularly problematic uh, from late October through to early December uh, where leaves uh, get compacted onto the rails, cause very slippery conditions, cause delays to our services and can also have a safety impact. Working together with agricultural and environmental consultancy ADAS, the Met Office has developed a leaf fall prediction model to help combat the threat of leaf fall. So the leaf fall and low adhesion service that we provide from the Met Office Rural Environment Team based in ADAS pulls together vegetation information collected from ADAS vegetation surveys. So that gives you details of species composition and um, density, which gives you a vegetation severity index risk for each, each area. Um, we then combine that information with um, best data forecast from the Met Office, which is an optimal blend of all the available numerical weather prediction models and observations to give you the most accurate forecast available. The service includes regular detailed reports sent via email or a web portal up to six times a week in peak season. It's really important that we differentiate between mid-falling species, so species such as your sycamore, your poplar, your ash, and your limes compared to late falling species such as your oak species because the timing of the peak leaf fall rates are so very different. Your oak species tend to fall much later and into December compared to your early falling species. TransLink drivers receive their training in simulators like these at their state-of-the-art academy in Belfast. They learn vital techniques to counteract adverse weather impacts such as leaf fall. This experience, along with regular updates received from the Met Office reports, helps them cope with most scenarios once driving a real 300 ton train. So the increased uh, input we're now getting from the Met Office, you know, it puts us in a position where we can deliver the service that's required throughout uh, October, November. And in most cases, you'll normally find Passengers are travelling out there and probably don't know this is a, you know, the train's actually experiencing any problem because the drivers are of a standard that they know how to deal with it and know what to do. Um, passengers will get on the train and bang or travel to, to Belfast and off in the morning and, and not actually realise that the driver's been experiencing problems and everybody's been driving. Since adopting this Met Office service, TransLink has seen a number of improvements in services as well as savings. Last year has shown that we've been able to make somewhere in the region of between 5 and 10 percent cost savings. Certainly we're managing our safety better than before. Uh, we're reducing the impact and delays to services and we are uh, more efficient on, on how we manage the effects of the weather. Yeah, I would recommend to any other organisation to look at the services that the Met Office provide. Go to this website for more information on the benefits of using the Met Office Leaf Ball Prediction Service plus the full rail product portfolio.